Panther Wakanda Forever, the 30th movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, it stars Letitia Wright, Lupita Nyong'o, Denai Guerrero, Winston Duke, uh, and a ton of other people. Um, directed by Ryan Coogler. Um, and it is the sequel to the uh, 2018 movie Black Panther. Um, look, I'll just come right out and say it. I really enjoyed this movie. I, I, I really did. Uh, I do think there, uh, it has some issues. One of which okay. is, I think this movie is, do is, is doing a little bit too much. There's a lot of plates spinning in the air, right? And for the most part, most of those plates stay up, but a couple of them fall. Uh, however, uh, the good far outweighs the bad in this movie. Um, I, I, I really, really enjoyed it. That's interesting. Uh, I mean, that, those are almost exact words that I said to my wife yesterday. That there yeah, were some like, minor they, issues, but the, the good significantly outweighed the bad. Yeah, yeah. Exact so, words. <laughs> well, do, would you care to elaborate? I mean, yeah. So, uh, well, do I, do I want to talk about the bad first? I don't know, but I will. Okay, you tell so, me whatever you want. All right, so look. Or just so, your overall thoughts. I mean, I thought it was, I, I really enjoyed the movie. So I watched it in 3D and I got to admit, you know, it was, it was a little bit dusty in the uh, theater. And yeah, for some reason, somebody, somebody was cutting onions in the theater. I don't know what was going on. on. I don't know what was happening. But, you know, Weird. I was happy I was wearing the 3D glasses because, you know, it, it allowed me to, you know, you know, you, you didn't have to see all those, you know, uh, wateriness in my eyes. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> can, we talk, but can we talk about that, though? Because I was not prepared for that. Like, I honestly, it, the first portion of the movie is kind of like going to a funeral, especially depending on the audience. So I have people in my audience, like they were screaming out, crying. It was a dedication to Chadwick Boseman, who unfortunately died in 2020 of colon cancer. And essentially the character T'Challa died in the movie. I mean, people were feeling it. Yeah. In the state. Like, people was. were feeling it. I, ha I haven't cried that much in a movie in forever. I, I, I kept trying not to cry. I'm like, I'm not, I don't need to cry. It's just, it's just, Listen, Neo. The I didn't know Chad would like me, that. <laughs> the guy sitting next to me, big brother, he asked me for, because I had a bunch of napkins, he asked me for a napkin because he was, like, it was just. Mm, it was pretty. I, I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting that. But I appreciated that because, you know, a lot of times in, in television and in movies, people die, major characters die. And it's like they get over it like that. Mm -hmm. They don't give a chance for the characters mm -hmm. to mourn or the audience. And this definitely gave the audience a chance to mourn. And 100%. I think that like one of the things I saw, mm -hmm. I thought that, you know, for me, when I react like that, it's usually the reactions of the people, you know, in the film. Like, it's not necessarily the thought that Chadwick Boseman was gone. I, I've known this for a while. But it was the raw emotions that I saw from the other characters that got me to crying. And, that, and if you think about it, I mean, they worked with this dude. So those, what I heard was those emotions were real for them. You know, and so we're just it, seeing it filmed. I think Letitia Wright um, did an excellent job portraying Letitia the five Wright. stages of, yeah, she, she, she has to go through the five stages of grief. And we go through that with her. And it just, it's, she, she does a phenomenal job. And, and, and it's, it's, it's more of a testament to her acting because she's acting against one of the best actors in the world, in, in Angela Bassett. And mm -hmm. the two of them on screen uh, together in this mother-daughter relationship, mourning the loss of a, of a family member and a, and a real life friend. Look, I know it's very manipulative, but like, so is all art. Like that's kind of the point of it, and it worked on me, man. It worked on me. Um, Rob, Were you crying? What are you, Were you crying? Uh, look, you crying? look, look, look. I, I just said, look, look, look. I don't dusty. know who. I don't know who was was making us was making a sandwich and just putting onions in the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> but it was heavy. I told my wife. I told my wife she hasn't seen it yet. We're gonna see it together on Tuesday. I said you're gonna cry, and if the first part don't get you. The you guys got to get over it. So I haven't seen the movie yet, but um, I, I can guarantee you, I'm a softy. I, when I when I see this movie, I, I'm sure I'll, I'm sure the tears will be flowing. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I wasn't ready. I it's was okay. Not ready okay. for all that. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. So, yeah. 
Yeah. So how did you feel when you heard that Chadwick Boseman had died? Mayor? All right. Uh, I mean, that was, uh, that was shocking. Um, I didn't, I, I, you know, had seen the first uh, Black Panther movie and really, um, he really blew me away in that. I'd seen a couple other movies with him in and I, I mean, just that he was only in his, in his forties. He seemed so young, just such a uh, great talent and very sad to, to, to lose him at such a young, young age. Man, that cancer is the devil, man. I think mm -hmm. when it, my Facebook post, when, you know, it came out on the wire that he had died, like none of us, at least in the public knew, like he was able to, and thankfully for him, he was able to keep his illness as private as he needed it to be. Like a lot of even his co-stars didn't know until the very end that he had been suffering for years with this. But my, my Facebook post, when it came out over the wire, no effing way. Like I, I was in complete shock and didn't understand what, like what? And that's where you, you're, you're sad because obviously this outside of his acting, this is a human, you know, who succumbed to cancer. But then you think about him in the role. You're like, not Black Panther. Like, what? I was yeah. surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Emotionally caught up I, I <laughs> was with Chadwick Boseman, really. Because, you know, it's yeah. not like, I mean, I've seen other actors die. And I say, oh, that's sad that they died. I feel bad. But for some reason, Chadwick Boseman hit me. I don't know why. It was you know why? I'll, I'll make this point, and then I'll go to Rob, because we haven't heard from him yet. But Chadwick Boseman played our real life superheroes. Yeah. He played Jackie Robinson in 42. True. He played he played Fantastic James Bond too. in Get On Up. He played Thurgood Marshall. He played the he played the darkest Thurgood Marshall I've ever seen. Fantastic yeah, performance. A, 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 mis a miscast Thurgood Marshall, but still a good acting job on his part. Yes. Yes, and I think I think that's part of it, right? Like he's in in the in in this world of Hollywood where like it's coming out that like men are just real scumbags, right? Like like he <laughs> wasn't one of them. Are. He wasn't one he, of them. he 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 wasn't one of them. That's true. Um, Rob, what did uh, what are your thoughts on the, on the film? Well, I you know aside to the tribute to Chadwick Boseman, I thought it was an entertaining movie. Uh, the action scenes were very MCU. Uh, for the nerdy part of me, um, I really loved seeing Namor, Namora, and Atama. And I found it kind of interesting that, you know, he names himself Namor at, when Namor. he first introduces himself, Namor. And he gives it that, that Spanish flair. And then they go back to the Americanization of the Anglicization of his name and calling him Namor, which is what we've kind of come to know him since 1939 in the comic book. Um, so I did find it interesting that they veered away from the comic book heritage of Atlantis and they brought some South American flair into it because, you know, it's diversity, representation, and this follows Disney's new format. Um, and with Disney's new format, it was very girl power oriented. Um, all of the women were powerful. Was very girl power. They were very empowered. Black girl magic. Black girl magic. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, it's, uh, so it's nice to see that they're kind of setting the scale or resetting the scale so to speak um yeah like i i wish they would have done a little bit more with namor because i was gonna say is, the same thing you know this is someone who can go strength wise can go toe to toe against the hulk and that Wait. was clearly not demonstrated because he should have had an easy time taking care of business so for those who don't know like namor i mean can you can you give a little background on namor um michael yeah. Or well, Obama, Namor whoever. is, uh, well, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Rob, but Namor was the first mutant. Mutant. Uh, the first uh, mutant. That's correct. Um, uh, not like in canon, but or like. X-Men. Yeah. And he was, I, I, I always saw Namor as like sort of um, uh, coded as Asian. And yes. he, you know, like and he's, or something he's, like that, mm -hmm. right? And he's always been Marvel's kind of answer to Aquaman, right? And, but and no, but you know what? You know what? what did he say? No more came out man. two years before Aquaman. No more, oh, really? Is older than Aquaman, yep. Well, there you go. So it's he, but he's Namor's always been a bit of a he's always been a bit of a dick, right? Like, he's always, he's always. and 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 this portrayal of Namor. He still kind of is, mm -hmm. but you like him. 
So. When I say like him, I think he's. I think he's, he's captivating. An anti-hero. I, right, he's captivating. I'm not saying I'm rooting for Namor. I'm saying I want to see uh, Tanakh Huerta on screen as Namor. That's what I mean when I say. I, like to, I would I like, see. A, I would like I to see. Mean, a, a I would want to see him on screen, the actor on screen, as something else. But um, <laughs> I, 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 I didn't like him. And and one of so, but to, to piggyback off of that, um, Micah, one of the common themes or questions that I saw in reviews of the movie, people arguing whether or not Namor was a villain mm-hmm. or not. It's Should but he you be can seen be both as a villain. You can be both. No, but, That's what they refer to as an anti-hero. Well, like you, you're a, you're a hero, but you're not. <laughs> and he was definitely. It all bad. depends on your perception, right? Yeah. Like yeah, one man's terrorist, I, I, one man's I, I, terrorist is another man's freedom fighter, right? Like I didn't see him as I, an anti-hero. I, 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 I you, you know what I liked. An you know what I liked most. I liked that they were taking the two um, societies, right, and kind of comparing, you know, because. They weren't really the evil ones in the in the picture. It mm-hmm. was America, France. It was you know the man who they were both fighting against, and they just had different ideals as to how to do it. Um, you know, and so they were. It was just conflicting ideals which caused them to go to war. Which is, you know, what happens in real life. Unfortunately, is that you have these two societies fighting against a larger threat, and then they don't agree on how to combat that, and then they end up fighting each other, which is, you know, that's the whole sense of, you know, destabilization. That's the whole concept behind destabilization of countries and things like that, is that you get them to fight each other, even though there's this larger threat. And so I I like that they addressed that, and I didn't like that it was happening, but I like that they kind of addressed that. So to your point, to your point, Liz, I, I, to your point, I, I want to talk about a couple of things that I didn't really like about the movie. Okay. Um, and they all stem from uh, a little too much going on uh, at the same time. I think that there are three or four characters that could just be lifted from this movie and, and <laughs> nothing, it, it would be fine. Okay. There are there are there are literally characters that you can take their entire role, their entire screen time, and I don't know and, her and, name, but I know one. And Riri. and Riri. the movie would be fine. Um, I think there's another character who is simply a MacGuffin. This is a big deal for this character to be here and to What's be introduced. A MacGuffin? You using these terms I've never so, heard before. <laughs> so a MacGuffin in term in, in movies, uh-huh. a MacGuffin is is an object, a thing or something that is not important, okay. but it moves the plot along, oh, right? Like, okay. we got to get this thing. That thing is the MacGuffin. We have to find this person. That person is the MacGuffin, right? Okay. okay. So, and, and I feel like that there is a character that is a MacGuffin. And I feel like that character is a little too important for her to just be a MacGuffin. Um, oh. Uh, Iron Are you talking about, Iron you talking about the scientist? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that, that, that could be anybody. That could literally be anybody. I, I feel like they could have waited. They could have. Uh, she's, she's getting her own show. I feel, I feel like she could have just waited to be introduced into her own show. Um, I, 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 felt, I, I thought she was. She was cool. I she liked was, her. She was cool. I, I liked her. She I was cool. Mean, I can't wait to see her show. We, we got no background on her. Exactly. That's what I didn't like. We, yeah. don't, we exactly. don't know who she is, where she came from why she is there. But I also exactly. think without that And I think Namor's thing, plan, I, I think Namor's plan, if you think about it, doesn't really make sense. Like if you, if you, if you sit down oh, and think absolutely. about it, it doesn't absolutely. make sense. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and, that was and, the weakest part of the story. That was the weakest part of the story. Right. Can I just right. say the, the, one thing that, the one thing that bothered me the most was, um, you know, Namor did a lot, and I won't say all that he did, but he did a lot of bad. And the ending left me disappointed with the consequences. I was really disappointed with how, how the consequences of his action played out. Um, 
But that's he, how these comic movies end. That bothered me. Because there needs to be... Yeah, there the needs consequences to be should have been greater to yeah. me, I felt. Yeah. Well, uh, but also, it, but, but the, not only that, but I just think it just... It goes back, and hopefully I'm not giving away too much here, but it goes back to one of my disagreements with Michelle Obama and her platform and what she says. When they go low, we go high. And to me, I'm just like, no, that is expected of us too much. I hate that. When you go low, I'm going to hell. I'm going to, I'm going to blow this whole thing up. And that's what happened here. We went high once again. So I, I, yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I, I mm, That bothered me yeah. the most. I just yeah, felt like consequences yeah. should have been greater. Kevin Thack says, please don't say Riri Williams. <laughs> <laughs> That's who you were talking about, Micah. And then, uh, I mean, yeah, okay, 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 we won't say it. <laughs> and then, uh, he also said the show will give the background on her. Yeah, and so no and, and look, yeah. you could have just could have just introduced her in the show. She has she, a new show she's, coming up. She has a new show coming out on Disney Plus, um, and she is, will be the, the star. Character? Yeah. The same character? Yes, the same, same character. Same actor, same. I, I'm not watching yeah. all of that. Like, I'll, I'll see what I want. She Hulk didn't need a segue so in the movie. We know how Maxwell feels about it. We know how. Uh, apparently, yeah. About it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're really running out of time. We're gonna jump right on. And that was a great discussion, Micah. Thank you for leading the discussion on Wakanda Forever. Everybody needs to go out and check out that movie. Fantastic movie. Um, Bring your, still, bring your tissue. Bring your tissue. Bring the, your tissue. The first one was definitely better, but this was a fantastic movie anyway. I mean, we, when you consider how amazing the first movie was, <laughs> this this it, it, not a huge drop off, but amazing movie. So you got to check it out. All right.